know if this is number three, number four, but y'all, we're going to finish up this project we started. This is part three, part one and three are on YouTube and part two. No, that messed up. I don't know. I think part two and three, I try to get them all on YouTube. Anyhow, there's a lot of moving parts to this um, piece here and I'm super excited to get it done. I wanted to do it last night so bad, but I went on Facebook Live first and that took me a lot longer than I expected. And next thing I knew it was like 1130. So I don't know. So we're going to do it. I'm excited. We're going to wrap it up tonight and we're going to make this paste look old. We've got paint inlays. We've got um, a couple different molds using air, air dry clay, the melange paint inlay on a piece of canvas. Um, this frame was thrifted about two weeks ago. Uh, it is from Hobby Lobby, but I did get it at the thrift store. Um, so the whole key to, den to tonight is putting this thing together and making it look like it's old because it's looking way too new right now. Don't mind the green blobs on here. I know it looks ridiculous, but there's a reason for it. <laughs> it just happened to be green for that reason. Um, so to start out, this is IOD. Uh, they just had a spring release probably about three weeks ago, a month ago. It's called the Melange melange paint inlay it's new it's innovative it's under um hey maureen it's under uh patent patent pending i got a board behind it but i didn't have anything big enough so i just cut a piece of you know the canvas that come on the on a frame we just cut that out and use that i did seal it i put one co oh i did seal it. i sprayed sealed it because that's what that's the most important part with um when doing paint inlays you got to do some type of spray seal no um, back and forth motion. Hey, Kim, um, because it will reactivate the paint and it'll smear. So I sprayed it and then I put a coat of my favorite Pentart decoupage ultra matte. Ultra matte. So look how matte that is, y'all. I mean, that is so matte. I'm st vertical. So that last time it worked on the video. So we're going to stick with what works. Hey, Summer. Hey, Diana. Till I hear differently. <laughs> um, and then our frame, we did all the molds live. I I guess I am flipped. I don't see myself flipped, but I guess I am flipped because I'm backwards when I move. <laughs> um, so I um, hit the like, yeah, hit the like button, Diana. <laughs> so we put all these molds on. These molds are from two different molds, the Ancathus Anth Anth Scroll Mold <laughs> and the Olive Crest, the Olive Crest. Y'all, I'm dying to use this. I picture this like on a crock with just like... Um, a stamp using a stamp and put like a number or initials or something like that hey terry thank you so much for joining me you guys and we used air dry iod air dry clay the melange is an eight page i won't show you every page because it kind of takes a while because it's um oh good to know kimberly thank you it, it, it just takes time um so there's eight pages they are paint inlays um i have several videos out doing several different um ones it's all the same concept it is not hard it's just a process i promise you that um so that's where this guy came from. And check this out. So these can be used two, three, four, maybe even five times. I haven't gotten that far, but this is, this is exactly it. So this can be used again. So check that out. Um, this one, actually, this one looks dark. Well, I don't know. I guess because the, the backing is a different color, but not really. It doesn't look like much came off of this. So it depends on how much transferred the first time you used it what color paint like if i if i use black or anything dark you would see that we use the ivory so you can't really see where the paint is on here um each time you use it it's going to be less and less of a transfer or a paint inlay just because it's you know you're actually taking the paint off of this and inlaying it into wet paint so that's kind of cool um, and that's what makes it unique because it can be used over and over again okay so um as i've stated this whole time i want to make this um I want to make this look old and that's one of my favorite things to do i'm not good at like making something old look new or change it like i always feel bad but i like to make new things look old that's what i'm good at yeah if you guys are not subscribed or thumbs up do all the things that makes it look like we're having some time over here because we're going to <laughs> we are going okay so part of the process i did this ahead of time hey Jeannie because it takes a little bit to dry. But I was telling you guys, this is the only paint that I know that does this, that you can keep doing this. This is um, Fancy Farm Girl. <laughs> and I just grabbed this one out. There's my sweet friend, Mara of Vintage Retail Therapy by Mara. So I grabbed this one out of the drawer. Oh, I used it all. Not a good example, hold on. Even with this plastic bag on here, the clay still like coagulates. I don't know, really know what the proper word is for it. Let's see what this one is. This is weathered wood. Let's see if this is a good example. Yeah. Okay. So see this chunk of deliciousness right there. So that's like just from sitting. So it's clay-based paint. 
So the clay kind of hardens itself. If you wanted to, you could add some distilled water and you could mix that, smooth it out so much. Hey, Lori, so much that would turn into paint again. Or you can, in our, we always say it's gold because it just gives you so much texture. So I just scrape it off the sides and I just smeared it on there. So yeah, it's green, I know, but that's the texture that we want. And this whole time I was going to paint it um, like, I was gonna do like a darkish gray, like white and then paint wash it with a dark gray. But I pulled this color out last night. I I've never even seen this color, it's uh, Wise Owl. This is the um, one hour enamel. So that's probably why, I don't know why I don't paint. I always go to the chalk style paints. This is the same thing, but it has um, a, um, a sealer in it. But y'all, I just fell in love with this color. So I think this complementary with this, but you know, we're gonna put waxes on it and stuff. So the color is gonna change, but I think we're gonna go with this. Is this an old school color? I don't know, but I like it. And I think I need to, because I need to cover this dark, like the weather wood. I was gonna go over this and then go back and use white wax. Um, but I just, just changed my mind. So hopefully that's the right decision, but I'm gonna paint this white first because I wanna cover up the green and I really wanna get the co this color. And I don't have a lot of it. This is all I got. They don't make this in the chalk style, so that's, that's weird. And we're going to use um, the vintage textured stamp um, on him too. We're gonna put some uh, some waxes on him because look how nice and clean it looks. We can't have that. Like that's it's too perfect. So with the help of this crackle stamp, crackle a, whatever the heck it's called, um, and different color inks, we're gonna we're gonna make it come alive. Hey Mary, <laughs> I appreciate you guys being here. It means a lot. I I really wanted to come last night. I've been dying to finish this project, but. I'll show you what we did last night. It came out really good. Like I was really, I was really surprised um, how much I like it. I almost feel like it needs something else, but I'm not sure what that else is. It's kind of pretty on its own. You're packing and heading out tomorrow. Oh, good. safe travels, my friend. Safe travel. Y'all, I'm a proud owner of a Bodabra. <laughs> I never thought this day would ever come. Scrappy's Rustics owns a Bodabra. And the reason I got it is because when I do my scrappies bow, uh, I have to like put something on it to weigh it down. So, you know, as you're stacking it. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. I won't be making, I won't be making anything looking like that. Let, let's just set the record straight or like that. Or like really any of these, <laughs> I'm gonna make. So I hope it works for what I intended to buy it for. I don't know, I got a wild hair up my, you know what and, um, so this is what we ended up making last night. It's a thrifted frame. This is the Transfer Me. I forget the name of the brand, but we put it on with water, like the old tattoos. That's how we applied this to um, the picture that was in there. And look at that crackle, y'all. That's the Pentart um, cracking paste. And oh my goodness. But I think this I went on the wall. Um, so I thought it came out really, really pretty. I was looking for a darker green, but I'm glad it ended up going lighter. So we learned last night when you when you do mix your paint anyways, chalk paint with um, the cracking paste, it does lighten it. Mica powders and resin and stuff like that, I don't know, I will have to try that. So um, I'm just going, I think this is plaster, with ch chalk paint plaster, uh, yeah, Waverly pl plaster. I'm just gonna go over this one coat because I really want that true, um, uh, you made your own, that. I probably should have done that. I, I didn't even think of that, to be honest with you. You made your own bow dabber. I, a lot of people have. That's pretty smart. Because um, I just decided to use this paint. This is all I have. I'm a little fuzzy. Oh, no. Am I fuzzy for everyone? I didn't shave my face today. <laughs> am I fuzzy for everyone? I hope not. But if I am, that stinks, y'all. Hey, Lorraine. How are you, my friend? All right, so we're going to put a... Shouldn't be slobbering it all over the back like I just did. You're good there? Okay. So Terry, maybe you got a bad connection. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe go out and go back in, try that old trick. Yo, that just wiped right off. You know why? Because this has a finish on it. And now that I say that, this is an old wood. It's from the Hobby Lobby. So I wouldn't think any tannins would, I hope nothing comes through on this. If anything, we might end up with, um, some crackle because there's a really shiny finish on here. Usually when you have 
any type of, <laughs> I did not clean that up very good. Any type you have, um, type time you have any, um, glues or whatever on your surfaces, you usually end up with some type of crackle. If you haven't noticed that, I'm going to try to balance this. Hold on. Let me get two more of the same stuff. Y'all got my grumpy pants on, but I'm not grumpy. No, cranky, cranky pants. I'm not cranky though. Y'all had a good day. I had an unexpected day. Um, I ended up getting, oh, I'm going to close that drawer one day and one of, everything's going to come flying down. Um, I ended up getting my bed, my, the bed that I've been wanting that I, my good bed, <laughs> the bed that wasn't here. Um, I got that today. So we set that up, but it's like, okay, we're going to set up the bed. Um, you know, I love my shirt. Oh, it's cute. I forgot. I had a whole tub of, um, you got your sassy pants. On. <laughs> I love that today. Um, I mean, I knew I had it, but I don't know. I, out of sight, out of mind. We're like, oh, I'll set up the bed. Well, you break the other bed down. Oh, let me vacuum. Oh, let me do this. Let me dust. Let me mop the floor. You know, it's like one thing after another. It's not, no, you're not just going to put the bed up. That, that's not how it works. So then, um, of course, one of the, one of the pieces on the bed's got to act a fool. So we've had to fart around with that and fix that. Can you guys, okay, you can't see. Um. And then I was like, well, should we put the shelf up before we, you know, move the bed in, the, slide the bed? Yes, yeah, so we put the shelf up. I mean, just, you know, just one thing after another. Got to move everything out of the way to get stuff in and out. And oh, my goodness. And it was so funny because um, I don't know why on earth they do not. All this technology in the world. I got to move this plastic bag is in my way. All the technology in the world. Why don't they put handles on the mattress? Like, I know some do. But most don't. Why not? Why not handles? Why? You just gotta like grip onto it for dear life and hope you, you know, you're struggling. You gotta move everything out of the way to get in, things in and out and, you know, you know how that goes. So then um, we're gonna put the, the other bedroom set in the cargo thing, which is, it's not that far, maybe 500 feet. But I don't want to walk like this and you know hanging onto the mat that thing's heavy you know all that way <laughs> so we ended up um i pulled up the the four-wheeler y'all i am a mess already i pulled up the four-wheeler with the trailer on it and um <laughs> oh, i'm not even gonna say that out loud but you're probably right they didn't think with the end in mind did they terry um you can't see what i'm doing over here hold on let me move my whole contraption over um so that worked out great it fit perfectly on the um Oh, I guess we have to meet in the middle there. It fit perfectly on the trailer <laughs> in the back of the four-wheeler, and I was sitting on it, so it didn't go flying off. So it was perfect. Perfect. It's a little warm in here. It was cold in here when I first got in here. Now I'm starting to sweat, and I haven't even hit the heat tool on yet. Oh, boy. All right, I'm not going to worry about paint on the back because I'm getting paint all over the back right now, so I'll have to worry about that another time. Maybe I'll just paint it white. I don't know. If it looks really bad, I'll just paint the whole back white. Or we'll put it on the wall and just don't look. Okay, the sides are done. Where, where are my hands wet? What is wet? What is I wonder. Oh. Like, big. That, that doesn't help with their stability and trying to walk right because their feet are just huge they're so funny they already have uh they already have personality one's a jerk and one's sweet so i don't know what we're gonna name them but one of them's name is buddy because the old buddy died the old buddy <laughs> the old buddy died um so one's buddy and i don't know buddy's the cute one but they're funny they're funny that was freezing in here last night uh, handles and make it easy, right? Yeah, for your sheets. Too. Yes, for your sheets too. Yeah. So then I gotta, you know, make the bed. Oh, I should wash this. I should, you know, just putting the bed together. Just it, it never it's like that. All these other things, but it's done, and I'm so excited, y'all. I'm gonna admit this. I have a bougie bed. Like I am not a bougie girl, but I do have a love for fine linens and as long as I can remember as long as I thought my 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 grandmother and my stepmom have always done quilts 
Um, so I think that's where a lot of it comes from because they never, they would never buy like the junk fabric. Like I, I didn't know what the heck, you know, what good fabric and bad fabric. Like I didn't know, but you know, they kind of drilled it into my brain growing up naturally that, you know, there's good fabrics and bad, bad fabrics. And I um, and I've always, always wanted a bedroom set. Like, a, I wanted the whole works. I wanted the, the, what do you call it? The ruffle, the ruffle, the bed skirt, the shams, all of it. <laughs> and, um, I finally bought it for myself. I don't know, probably like, I think right before I had my, probably like three, three, about three years ago ish. Um, and it was expensive. I bought two shams and they got like ruffles. The, comp the duvet and the bed skirt. But I was torn between, it's hard to buy stuff online, especially if it's, exp I mean, the whole set was 500 bucks. To me, that's a lot of money for a bed, for bedding. But um, it's just something I, I it's bougie. I got, I get it. Um, but I was torn between the colors and it was hard to, to know which one to pick online. So I ended up buying the $5 little swatch. They send you the little swatches of the actual material because I really, I would love to have like, um, you know, the pins, uh, the ticking, um, sheets, you know, that, uh, that have the color of your duvet or your comforter, but that was crazy, crazy money there. But, um, yeah, it was hard to decide. So I ended up just going with, a like, I think it's like, I think it's oatmeal color and I, I just love it. I love it. Love it. Love it. So I got to put that on. So that made me happy. Made me happy. I feel like the gang's the gang's all together. <laughs> the gang's all together again. G betting. The simple things in life. That's not. Um, I don't have a lot of that paint. What you see there. Um, I want to cover up this green, and I want this color to be the true color. You know, sometimes you put a color on another color, and you know, especially darker, and it it kind of alters the color. Not all the time, but depends on the paint. So that's my reasoning. Plus, like I said, I don't know if I have enough paint. Although last night fooled me because I would in a, in a never in a million years thought that uh, that crackle that I mixed went as far as it did. That was pretty shocking. That was actually very shocking. Whoa. Uh-oh, my my thing's falling down. <laughs> We're having an, a craft a lanch. Craft a lanch. Oh man. Man, oh man. Anybody do anything exciting on this Tuesday? Or anything exciting for tomorrow? Talk to me. What is happening? It's cold here. I can tell you that. Our cucumbers took a hit last night. How? I don't know because it didn't go below freezing. I think it was like 40. Well, it was 54 when I left here at like 2 in the morning. Um, and it, it wasn't freezing. Tonight's even colder. So I don't know what happened to them. But I think we covered them up so they should make it. I hope. Didn't quite burn them totally, but it got them pretty good. Got them pretty good. That was sad. That was so sad. So sad. All right. Just got this one little section left and we'll get there. Did I lose you for real, for real? Are you there? <laughs> Please come back. We got to finish this beautiful frame. I hit reconnect, so hopefully, hopefully we're all here. Hopefully the gang's all here. Uh-oh, I lost a bunch of people. Oh dear, where'd you go? Hopefully they'll come back. Oh, I can't catch a break. <laughs> I can't catch a break. Oh, good gravy. Good gravy. Hopefully the replay won't be so bad. Oh, boy, we lost everybody. I wonder if I'm still even on. <laughs> it says live. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. This is not going to be good. It's not, not a good start. <laughs> not a good start. Just saying, not a good start. Oh, boy. All right, I'm going to wrap this up like I do. Because especially these brushes. If your paint dries on these, you can forget about it. Plus these are super cheap anyways, but I kind of like them. I like that they hold a lot of paint. They were super cheap on Amazon. I say super cheap. I don't know how much they were. They weren't expect expensive. I know that. Um, I thought that baby wipe was going to run out like a week ago. Still, still, still giving, giving baby wipes out. Still pumping them out. <laughs> I got a, uh, like a uh, eight pack of baby wipes, big ones. So I think the male lady might think we have a baby or she's confused. I don't know. <laughs> she's probably more confused than anything. 
Let's get a coat, get this dry, get a coat of that stuff on there. We'll push this aside and we'll age up our rooster. Um, we're going to age him up by using the vintage textured stamp set and some waxes. <laughs> some waxes. Some dark wax. Some dark wax. I hope. I hope it looks all right. It should, but we can't leave it all white and crispy like that. I lost you guys for a second there. I apologize. I don't know what happened. I don't know what happened. I will be excited and feel much better when we get fiber. Although we had excellent service at the other house and we still had, re you know, we still reconnected and had issues. So I don't know. I don't know. Can't blame this one on FB. <laughs> can't blame this one on FB. Nope. Can't do that because we're not on there. <laughs> we're not on there. Uh, yeah. It's a really good way. Um, to give yourself texture. If you don't own DIY paint, if you wanted to do something like I did with the green paint, um, you can use, um, uh, uh, what the heck, uh, like the, the wall filler, uh, drywall stuff, spackle. You could use spackle. Um, you could, if you wanted to texture your paint, you could do some baking soda, just kind of make it real thick. Um, we almost should have done that for this project. That would have been a good candidate for this project. Um, but it's too late now. Well, it's not too late, but we could add, I just don't know if I have enough paint because it kind of makes it thick and chunky and you use a lot of paint when you add the baking soda, but it gives you that nice, it gives you a nice texture. It gives you your waxes and such, you know, something to grab onto, something to grab onto. So this was a last minute change. Like I said, I was going to go, I was going to go dark with this, but I really, I was calling it Meteor, Meteor or something last night. It's Metro City. <laughs> I was calling it something like fancy. It's not fancy. It's Metro City, ding dong. Now I cracked myself up. I put a pretty thick coat on here. Why it's taking a minute to dry. Minute to dry. Minute to dry. So our hours are getting better and better and better every day on YouTube. So I'm thankful and grateful for your support with that. Pretty exciting stuff. I'm, I'm, I'm educating myself on the side. I got a long list of stuff I need to sit down and just do, um, just so I can be a better, a better, better creative. I'll be more better. I'll be more better. Cause being more better is better than not being better. So, yeah, y'all, these did not crack or like move or do anything like I wanted them to. I should have just used resin. Like, none of them cracked. I was in the hopes that by using the clay, I mean, we could have forced them to crack, but I was I was really thinking we use the clay and it'll crack, and no, not a single crack. <laughs> but if it won't crack, it would. Right? Isn't that the way it goes? It's the way it goes. It's all right. We'll make it look old. I didn't paint the molds, did I? No, I didn't. I went right over them, but that's okay. But I just realized I didn't. I was like, why are they a funny color? Why are they a funny color? I got like a lot of paint in between these areas. So I should have put this coat on before I hit the live button, but I didn't. So there's that. All right, let's start. Let's get our coat on. We'll get our rooster going and then we'll get this guy uh, set up. So this is, uh, sample sizes this is a uh, wise owl but this is meteor city the ohe means one hour enamel one hour enamel is has a top coat in it um so you don't have to seal your project they do know oh, look at that color y'all i am like obsessed it's so pretty um I, I don't think they have it in chalk style and if they do i don't i admit i don't have one they jip me <laughs> they jip me you know what i'm gonna use my bougie brush <laughs> I'm going to use, I wish I had a brush. Do I? I would like to have one of these, like in one of these. But I don't think I do. No, this is the best I have. So we're going to, we're going to do this. We're going to use the bougie brush. Y'all, it's an expensive brush. I've never had expensive, I have three now. I've never had an expensive brush, but there's a big, big difference. Like, big difference. Um, especially if you're doing like larger projects. Um and you're going to continue to do, I would consider buying one um, because it really did make a difference. 
but I didn't know. I never had a fancy brush, a bougie brush. All right, here we go. Ooh. <laughs> oh, it's so pretty. So pretty. Yeah, this is definitely going to take two coats, especially that I didn't paint the, um, the molds because they're air dry clay. So it's just going to suck it right up. I should have put a coat of the uh, ivory on there, but I, I don't know why I didn't, to be honest with you. I just, I don't know. I didn't. I just didn't. I just didn't. What a beautiful color. It's beautiful. All right. Hopefully, you know, uh, let me show you something too. Let me get this off my, um, you know how I always talk about how I like my, my clay to cure before I go messing with it with waxes and whatnot. And I always say you can hit the top. So I like to get down into my, so all my, my wax or paint wash gets in the lower parts. Oh, there's a crack. But if you don't want to do it that way, you can do it the opposite way and hit all the high points. So you can take something like, I'll just show you. So it really brings out all the details. So I'm just lightly bringing my brush across the top. So you see, you, can you see that? So it just, by hitting the top of the mold, it brings out all the details that way. So it can be done that way too. If you're impatient or you like that look or you're going for that look, um, that's a way to do it. You would do the same thing just hit the top with your waxes or your paint wash wash or whatever it is that you're using whatever it is that you're using i should have painted i should have taped off the back i think i'm going to end up painting the back because it's going to look all cray cray oh cray cray oh my goodness my goodness so i can't see any comments if there are comments i don't know if something happened when we reconnected or the minute i'm putting my head down they're coming up and I'm not seeing them because they do go by super fast. They fade away. They fade away on me. Now, um, YouTube doesn't show you like Facebook shows you so-and-so joined, so-and-so joined. Or no, so-and-so is watching. Nope. It's a mystery here. <laughs> it's a mystery here. I don't know. So you can sneak in and sneak out if you want. That's nice. That's nice because I didn't like that. What if, what if I don't want somebody to know I'm watching? Or you ever get a notification and you accidentally hit it and it opens a live and you're like, crap, <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. Can't get out of there fast enough. You're already busted. They know you were there. They know you're busted. That's annoying. That's so annoying. All right. Uh, let me flip this. I'm going to paint that side last because I feel like I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, lean right into it. <laughs> I'm going to lean right into it. Lean into it sides painted and um I'm a little I, I'm not really sure where we're going with the rooster like how we're gonna make them look old we're gonna do it it's gonna be a little scary but we're gonna do it it does have um the spray seal on it and it has the pen tart on it so with that being said that will help me uh allow me to like a little room for error that we can wipe up a little I mean not all of it because it's gonna be white but if we put something on there, there's a good chance we can wipe it, most of it off, if we have to. If we have to. Now this frame itself had like rustic wood to begin with, so that's a win. That's a win. That's going to help us uh, achieve this look we're going for. Okay, that wasn't too bad. Achieve the look. I love to make new things look old. I could do this all day long. Um, they don't always all come out great, but the good thing with that is you can just set it aside and be like, I don't know what that needs or what needs to be changed, but sooner or later it'll come to you and you can make it the way you want it. Cause I don't know about you guys, but I'm not, I'm probably more not satisfied with my projects than I am satisfied. Like when I say that, I mean that like when I get that project, like, yes, like that is awesome. <laughs> I nailed it. Like, I don't, I don't feel like that happens a lot with me. I mean, they're okay. I'm not saying my, some of my stuff is junk now. Don't get me wrong. I've made some crazy looking stuff, but not every project I can be like, yes, that's what we're talking about. <laughs> that's a good one. That's a good one. Comments. Let me hit this button and see what it does. I'll get in paint on my shirt. 
or my finger. Let me see what this does. Well, hopefully it doesn't do anything crazy. Oh, uh, live chat. Okay. Oh, I see now. You guys, I didn't see any of your comments. I had to hit that button. Salt wash. Yeah, salt wash would have been a great idea. Dang it. I guess after something happens, I got to hit the comments. Well, now they disappear. Okay, there we go. Oh, thank you. I missed out everything you guys are talking about. I'll have to go back and look. See, I'm learning. Joanna, you were just too sweet, Jody. You were too kind. Too kind. I made some crazy looking stuff. But if they were all great, then there'd be something wrong, right? Like, they all can't be great. Like, they just can't be. And if you're someone that thinks every single thing you make is fantastic, then... Uh, Karen, my sweet friend, Karen. Oh, girl, I hope you're relax. I know better, but I hope you're relaxing. I know, I know better, but I hope you are. And, um, yes, yes. And I, yes, <laughs> I hope you are. I, I want to give you a big old hug. Big old hug. All right, y'all, this color is so pretty. Did I say that already? <laughs> Everyone's, everyone, you're absolutely right. Everyone sees things differently. One, 1,000%. 1, Y'all have so much paint underneath this frame. It's not, it's not good. <laughs> it's not good. Like a lot. I put some, uh, oh crap. The comments just fade away so quickly. I'm not fast. I'm not fast enough for the comments. I'm not fast enough for the comments. I got to speed things up. You know, the more I look at this half painted white and kind of like dry brush, the more I like it. Like, like that looks kind of stinking cool. I mean, I almost, like I almost like the look. Of, oh, that paint's still wet. Hey, Cindy. I almost feel like we might need to, I can't, um, dry brush this. Like, do you see what I'm saying? Do you see how this looks? Catching what I'm throwing? I don't know. Getting way off course here. Started out going gray. Now we're Metro City to I don't know what. It's kind of evolving into something I wasn't expecting. Did I paint this? Nope. Didn't paint that. All these little details here. We'll get all the other stuff that we missed our second timer. Oh God. Hold your hair back with a wet paint. That's brilliant. Wet paint on your finger. That's brilliant. This color would be pretty in my hair. I really, I, I like that. I always could dry brush that. I, I'm kind of, I, you know, Kim, now, I'm, now I'm torn, Kimberly. I think some of this paint's still wet. Is why it's kind of looking crazy over here, like smearing instead of yeah. It's still wet. Okay, let's just paint what we can. We'll give that some time to dry on the side and while we, yeah, that's really wet right there. I guess I didn't hit it with a heat tool. I don't know. Yeah, I really like that look. I feel like this is a good coastal color too. Um, coastal, coastal vibe color, coastal vibe color. I can't believe I had to hit the, I'm glad I saw the comments button. We're learning together y'all. New platform, new rules. New memories, all the things, all the things. Okay, that's gonna have to be good enough right for now because yeah, that paint is still wet is why it's acting cra crazy, crazy. <laughs> Anybody wonders why I put my brush in a plastic bag it is to keep it from drying out and I can keep using it and using it and using it. Sometimes they've been in there a couple days. <laughs> And as long as they're sealed tight, sometimes I'll put something heavy on them to uh, hold it down. Um, and then I brush them when I know I'm done, done, done. I shouldn't have done that because I got to pick this and move this. Oh boy. And it's got paint. All over the bottom of it. Not big enough. There I'm going to put this on the floor. Put it on the floor. And, oh, let me just get it a little. Give it a little push with a little bit of heat. You guys, I've had this thing. I've never used it. It's one of the very first things I bought in my craft stash. I believe it was from Joann's. 
Really, all you need is a block of wood. Go on, turn on this. I should have used a picture of this. Oh, okay, cool, Kimberly. Look, just a piece of wood, which that's all you need is a piece of wood, maybe a nail to hold it, and you put your paint, like different color paint, contrasting paint, and you drag it across your project because it's not like totally flat and it gives you the chippy look. I've never used it. Look, it's brand new. We need to use that because I think it would give us a cool look. Just getting a little heat on here just to kickstart it to dry while we do our rooster. A rooster. Usually I love roosters. Roosters have been my nemesis. Is this going to stick to the... Hold on, I gotta put something. I gotta put something down here on the floor so it doesn't stick to the paper. Well, who cares? Let it stick to the paper. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Y'all, frame's bigger than the parchment. Of course it is. Move over. Move it on over. All right, there we go. Now we're in business. With my my cranky pants, my cranky pants. <laughs> my cranky pants. All right, let me move this crap out of the way. All right, I gotta get this paint off my hand before I touch our rooster. I don't think it's coming off, so we're good. Okay, good. It's staying. It's staying on. Okay. So here's our rooster paint inlay. We did ivory. What did you do? Oh, the double work. I, I still have them. I still have, I have solar flowers coming out my ears. That was one of my first loves, uh, solar flowers. So, um, we need to do a solar, solar project for sure. All right. So we're going to, oh my goodness. I painted all the tops of the, <laughs> those, paint, those DIY paints. I painted the tops. Um, all right, so we're going to use, this is the vintage stamps. There's four parts. This is IOD. This thing is great and timeless. Um, and it's a very quick way to get crackle or um, different types of crackle rustic looks. So we're definitely going to use that one. It's got that one. It's got that one. And the nice thing too is they're not square. So, you know, if you wanted to cover a whole page, you wouldn't have to worry about it looking like squares as you go. And then you get all these for a chippy, different types of chippy look. Chippy, chippy. So, um, we are gonna use those. So I'm thinking I'm gonna do, I think I'm gonna do the crackle. Hey, wax is a resist. I think I'll do the wax first. I'm gonna do the wax first. And then we'll do the crackle. Even though rask, uh, rask, wax is a resist, it, it's not like we're putting a ton on here. Um, so it should be fine. Should be fine. Okay. So I'm going to use DIY dark wax. <laughs> oh, my roosters. Oh, we've had some challenges with roosters. I got to stir this because it's got a bunch of, oh, well, I'll go from the side. Just take that's a lot. It's a lot, a lot. Um, it has two sealers on it. it. Has the spray sealer that I did um, after it dried, and then I put a layer of the um, ultra matte on there. Um, let me do just a little corner, just to see what it's going to behave. It's a little corner, huh? And how it's going to wipe off. Okay, it's wiping away pretty good. Okay. So, um, let me see this thing. Oh, I don't know how far it goes in. Recently watched the rest. <laughs> I could not cut that paper to save my life. Finally, the fourth attempt after the live, I did it. But, y'all, I could, in the comments, were like, no, you're, do you're doing it wrong again. You're doing it wrong again. I don't know how far my frame comes in. I wish I knew that because I kind of want to do the edges, but let me just do it. Just do it. And there are crinkles and stuff in the, in the paint. So 
So that's going to help with it kind of looking, you know, more realistic in a sense. So it's nothing major, but it's subtle because, I mean, this is too new looking. It's got to have something to, um, just to age it up a bit. Um, what was I just thinking? I don't know what I was, th I don't know what I was thinking. Must have been something grand. My bristles, bristles are hanging out. These are from the Dollar Tree. Um, I want to say they came and they have, they're the natural bristles. I want to say they came in a three pack. These are great for um, waxing, especially smaller projects. And that way, if they get funky, you can just chuck them. And you won't be heartbroken that you ruined a, you know, a nice brush. Okay, that's a little dark. <laughs> it's a little dark. Getting a little dark. I must not have much sealer on this side. I'm just going to go around the edges just to try to get my nerve up here. <laughs> it's a little nerve-wracking. I think I'm going to go in with the stamps next because I want to see what kind of effect the stamp's going to have. We're going to stamp on the frame, too, with Crackle. Um, but just here and there, because I don't think there'll be a lot of spots left that we can do that. And we don't want this to look so uniform. So it'll get better as we go here. Get better as we go. Let me set this aside for a second. I want to see... I've got black. I'm going to use start out with stone gray. Stone gray is safer because um, if you go too dark, you can't really reel it back in. But if you go light, you can, you know, make it darker. So I'm just going to randomly bap bap this because I'm not looking for full coverage. I'm just looking for, um, you know, I even have white in there. I have my white ink out. Not sure. Put white on there and see what that does. All right, so I'm just gonna not put the whole thing down, just like a yeah. Looks like looks like our picture frame from last night. Look at that little bit. See that little bit right there. That's what I want. That's what I want, but not everywhere. Not everywhere. Oh yeah. Instant aged, y'all. Instant. Hey. We'll put it on my face. Uh, uh, yeah, too new looking for sure. Um, yeah, Terry's the proud owner of that rooster that I had trouble with. Y'all, that, from that day on, for Craft Around the Clock, I want to say it lasted um, weeks. I could not get a project out right on Craft Around the Clock for weeks. It was horrible. I don't know why there's this huge blob right here, but there is. So I'm just, see all that? Um, yeah, that day just set the tone and I could not, I couldn't get anything right. I couldn't finish anything. Not that I ever finish anything, but it was worse than normal. Let's put it that way. <laughs> it was bad. Yeah. And, and it was, Kind of crazy because I'm gonna get his neck. I'm gonna get his rooster neck. Um, I swear to God, that day I was in the shower because I was like, "Oh, you talk too much. You can't get anything done. You're reading the comments. You can't finish your project. Today you're gonna focus on this project and get it done." And that's the mindset I went in with. Y'all, that was not a good idea. It was that was not a good idea because it was not. Oh, yeah, it was not good. Not good at all. It was, it was bad, but I mean, I'm just human. I'm just human. Okay, so there's like no ink on here now, so I'm just kinda, so we got so far. We're getting older looking. Can you see the crack hell? I gotta fix that dark spot, which I will. Easy peasy. I know I'm gonna grab this black. One of the best lives I've ever Oh my goodness. Memorable, definitely memorable. I remember throwing the paper. I was just like, that's it. I'm, I'm so done. I'm so done. Oh, it's funny now, right? It's 
funny. It's funny now. Mm -hmm. This is just so subtle that, I mean, that's what you want because, you know, things take a long time to age. So it's not like they age overnight, but I do, I have to do something about this big blob of darkness. I've got a big blob of, blob of darkness I've got going on over here. Yo, I'm so happy to have my bougie bed. Like, I feel fancy. I feel fancy. All right, so we don't have much ink left now, so I'm getting brave and just putting the whole kahuna down. Subtle. Subtle. No, no, no. You just found me, Joy. Welcome. I'm glad you're here. We had a blast. Yeah, we did. Oh, man. The comments is what's hilarious. Like, and, and the crazy part is, is all I had to do was just cut straight across and I wouldn't have had any problems. That, that just did not compute at all. At all. Zero. I think I should go brave and put some of these in there. Just like. Maybe not. Let me finish. Let me let me do something about this blob of darkness. <laughs> this blob of darkness. Um, I don't want too much on my brush. I want to kind of blend it, blend it in. Bring it in. I want to bring it in. Now, what I could try, if I don't like the way this ends up, is I could bring in some clear wax and see if we can tone it down a little. Um... But I think maybe by bringing it in a little, just it's just this one spot that's bugging me. Bring it in, girl. Bring it in. I just wanna. I don't want to dingy it up too much. It looks like it's dirty. <laughs> like we don't want no dirty bird. No dirty bird. But kind of a dirty bird. Just like it's. Been, it's been hanging on the wall in the kitchen. It's got kitchen fur on it. You know what kitchen fur is? <laughs> it's like that fuzz and all that. Oh, I better hit comments because we reconnected. Live chat. Yeah, I'm going again. Um, it's all the oils and fuzz and junk flying around in the air. <laughs> and it gets set on your whatever okay that's better that's still a little dark but I'm, I'm i think i'm just focusing too much on there all right and i'm gonna bring it in just a tiny bit more because it's a little light in here but other than that that's what we got going on so see how subtle like i like that side that side looks pretty good that's a little dark but you would you probably wouldn't if I, we didn't just watch me do this you probably wouldn't even notice like when you see this all done you're not gonna be like oh my god she she put dark wax on it and stamps like I don't think you're gonna even see or think that I guess um I know how to grow dinghy you know what what, what? wait what you know how to grow dinghy I'm not catching what you're throwing what, what? I know how to grow dinghy oh boy I'm just ever so lightly and I barely have any on my brush I just want to tone this down a tiny bit just ever so slightly. Like I said, just so it's not so, so white. So snow whitish. I love um, this looks just like um, oh dingy. <laughs> you grow dingy. I was like, grow dingy? What the heck? How you do that? <laughs> um, this looks like like when you crackle paint and then you go over it with wax, that's exactly what this looks like. That's pretty impressive and it's just a stamp. Why don't we use a stamp all the time? That'd be a lot easier, I don't know. What the heck are we thinking? No, we gotta do all this fancy stuff when a stamp takes two seconds. Like, I don't get it. I don't get it. Cause you can use all the fancy colors with the stamps. You can use paints. Okay, I'm happy with this. I don't know if you guys remember how stark white it was, but quite this white, but it was ivory. It was ivory. So we've we've managed to uh, 
dingy it up. Dingy it up. All right, let's wrap everything up. All right, let's get our. Um, I'm gonna. I should leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave it alone for right now. I was gonna hit it with a stamp again, but now I'm getting cray cray. Uh, thanks. Pretty close. Yeah, up close. How close? It does look like crackle. Like crackle. Okay. So, oh, I do have white wax out too. I mean, I have white wax. I got all. I got everything out. I got. You could go in with the white ink and put it in the dark spots, but. Ah, that might be pushing it. Might be pushing our luck a little, little bit. Okay, let's get our. No, that needs like some serious paint. Um, what can I put this on besides these awkward things? Guess I gotta put them on here again. Guess I do. We got lots of white showing. Oh yeah, it's stuck. Ah. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> Look at all that white. Can you see it? Got a lot of paint to do. This thing is still super wet. It's not wet, it's super wet. <laughs> super wet. Let's go over this way, that away. Now, you see how this is one hour enamel? You see how it's shiny? We can't have that. It's nice, it's got the top coat in it. You could use, um, I don't, I think it's too, big for a cake. I thought about that. I have the spinner, the cake stands, but I think it's too uh, too wide. I think it's too wide. Um, yeah, so the one hour enamel makes it uh, shiny because it's got a sealer. It's got a sealer. So I'm going to just get this, hit this, get it a little heat on it, and then I'm going to just take a small brush and get up in here. I, I was going to grab it, but like I said, I think it's, I don't have one that big. It'll probably fall right through. Unless I have like a board or something, but I don't. I don't. I don't. All right, get this heated up a bit. Get the process rocking. And I'll get in there with a little paintbrush and do all those little spots because it's obvious that that big one isn't going to get in those little crevices. And I got some serious paint pulling around here. I really laid it on. Should have went thinner instead of thicker. Woulda, shoulda, coulda. All right. Let me use... I like the long brushes, but I always feel like I'm going to poke my eye out with them. Where's our stuff? In the one hour enamel, you always have to shake. What about putting... Oh, crap. I missed what you said. I missed what you said. What about putting something and it disappeared? It faded away. Faded away. It's gone. Oh boy, this is gonna be this is gonna be something. All right, let me all do it at this angle. That way I can see each side before I flip the frame. Or flip it. Flippy doo da. Flippity doo da. Flippity. So now what I have left in the bedroom to do is build a door. Well, I'm, I'm building a door, which is really part of the wall. So if you saw, I put out, it was a while ago, like over a month, I put out two reels where we were, look, we had to open up the wall <laughs> to get to the hot water, or to the water tank. Well, I didn't like the wall. That's still wet and doesn't want to take my paint. Uh, I'm sure you can come up with something just like you came up with the other thing. To do. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah. If I was here by myself, I'd, I'd go digging around to find something to, instead of these DIY things. Um, so we took the wall, you have to take the wall piece down to get to the water tank and if you needed to repair the AC. Um, and it's kind of like a drywall-ish, but it's not. Um, and it's literally floor to ceiling behind, you know, behind the trim. So we took that down. And at first I was like, well, I don't ever want to take that off again. Cause it was a pain in the, you know, what it had a ton of bolts, messed up the paint. So I was like, well, let's put a door up thinking, yeah, that's a great idea. So needless to say, the wall ended up kind of getting damaged in the, um, in the carport thing. And so it's not an option to put that back now. Um, so now I have to build a door. 
um, and I want a really lightweight door. And it's not like a, I could go buy a door because it's going to have to be a custom size. Like it's from floor to ceiling. And then I don't know how wide it is, but it's not that wide. So I bought everything I think I need. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we'll see how that goes. I haven't built a door before, but I mean, it makes sense what I have to do in my own mind. But will it come out like that? I don't, I don't know. So I was going to do that actually yesterday, but it rained all stinking day. So, okay, so I'm trying to do what I can visually see from this angle. And unfortunately, I'm going to have to turn this around. At least if I get one coat, it doesn't have to be, we just can't have it white. You know what I mean? I don't care if it's like on the mold. I don't care if it's peeking through a little, but like I said, it can't be white. Cause then it's like, bam. The funny thing too, that's why I said I should have, I should have put ivory paint over my molds because if you've ever painted air dry clay, it's funny because you'll think you have full coverage on that clay and then it'll dry and you'll have all these white spots. And you'll be like, what the heck? That was not even close to look like that when you left. Like it's the weirdest thing. It's almost like it, it sucks it up. It does something that. I don't know, I can't explain it, but it happens all the time. And um, it's surprising like how much how much white is showing. You think, whoa, I thought I put a good coat on there. Yeah, no, no, you didn't. And then the second coat's fine, no problem, no problem. Oh, crap, I missed your <laughs> message now thing. Oh, I gotta come up with a better method. How can I, I need a noise to go off every time a comment comes up or something to bonk me in my head. Thunk me in my five head, my four. <laughs> Flick me. <laughs> I'm gonna flip that girl. Oh my goodness. Flick me. Because I can't look up and down at the same time. I'm not that talented. There we go. How about a small barn door? Oh. Um, oh, I thought about that. But I can't slide it. Like, I can't slide it. So I'm just gonna do a you know those um this is what I could compare it to. You know the IKEA <laughs> IKEA. <laughs> uh Kevin okay, was just thinking of stand. I was thinking about maybe doing something like that in the panels because it's going to have like paint. It's going to have panels. Um, Ikea has, I can't think of the name brand, but they're pine. I had them. I have some shelves here. They're just pine shelves and you get, you have to buy the sides and you have to buy the shelves and the sides look like a ladder. Um, the door's going to kind of look like that, but filled in. But so the only thing I, why I wanted, why I wasn't going to do, um, fabric or drop cloth or whatever is because of the noise. So it's a little louder when the air kicks on um, without that wall there. So that was the, the reason I wasn't going to, I was going to do, I have some really nice burlap, um, like coffee bags. I thought about that because I want it to be lightweight. Um, and then my husband was like, well, when the hot water tank craps out, we'll just get, um, We'll get one of those water things. Um, oops, uh, the heat on demand. Take that hot water heater out, or the hot water out there. Um, yes, thank you, Jody. Uh, take the tank out of there, and then I can use it for closet space. Cause I stuck my elbow in it. Uh, cause yeah, space is whew, space is a minimum here. I'm holding this like I'm gonna stick my paintbrush in it, but there's no paint left in it. Oh, I just wiped that off. That wasn't smart. Okay. All right. I feel good. We got that side pretty done. Ah, uh, you know what's happening? What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, some of the ivory paint is still wet and needs where I really plugged. I put a lot, like a lot, a lot, like too much. All right. So this won't be as bad because I got a lot of it that last round. So this shouldn't be as bad. as bad definitely don't like the shininess of this and I can tell you right now if you're gonna leave it like this you painted it and it's shiny and you're like oh man I do not like that shine that pentart mat will knock it right down like it'll just take that shine right away see it's wet do you see what happened just there I should have just left let me put a little more paint on there um so just good stuff I have all these pre-recorded videos I want to do. I have all this stuff I want to do with you. 
yo, the day's just getting away from me. Like, what the heck? What is happening? I packed some orders tonight or today. Um, yeah, I just, I don't. Next thing I know, it's midnight, one o'clock. I'm like, what the heck? Now, granted, I haven't been able to get up early in the last week. I don't know what is happening, but I've been sleeping like a, one night I'll sleep great. The next night I sleep terribly. Sleep great, sleep terribly. Last night I slept great. I mean, great. I was, it was cold and I slept really good. I got out of bed at 1.30. I mean, mind you, I didn't go to bed. I got in bed at like 3. I think I was asleep by like 4, but 1.30? No, I can't, I don't, I don't want to, I mean, I feel my best when I sleep like, like later, opposed to like 10, 30 or 11 or, you know what I mean? Like that, but I don't want to, I don't, I'm missing life. But then if I get up too early, then I feel like crap. So I'm going to miss life anyways, because I got to go back to bed. Like it's this vicious circle. I can't let go. Like I can't just let my body do what it wants to do. No, I got to fight it like a moron. Did I just turn this the same way? Oh, no. <laughs> I'm going this way, right? I don't know. I see white spots, so I'm assuming I'm on the right track here. Oh, yeah. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Every time we turn it, we're getting better and better. Better and better. I, I just, if I could get up and feel good at like 10, I would be happy. Even 1030. But that hasn't been working out. Or if I get up at like 930, 10. Come five or six, I'm like, Bleh. like, I gotta go to bed. And they're like, you can't go to bed now. Then you'd be up all night. Like, it's just, it's a battle. It's a, I gotta find my groove. I don't, and I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Like, literally at 1 30, I could have rolled over and went back to sleep. Like, I, I really could have, but I didn't. But I could have. I don't know. The body wants what the body wants. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. It bugs me though. It does, it bugs me. Nothing's perfect. Oh, Kimberly Ron is, he, he does not realize the gift that that man has. He can, like, he, he's never used an alarm clock. Never, ever. Um, he can lay his head down and he's out. He can say, I'm going to, I'm going to bed at 10, 15 and I'm going to be up at 422. I shit you not, he's up within five minutes of that time, he said. Like, he has an internal clock. The minute he lays his head down, he's out. I, I mean, it's just, it's it's unbelievable. Like, I wouldn't believe it if I didn't live it with him. Like, he takes a nap pretty faithfully every, like, today he didn't, but pretty faithfully he'll get up, he'll go to bed around 10, 10, 30, usually 10, and um, he's up anywhere usually like between 4.30 and 5.15. And then, and then right back to bed. I mean, he's just, it's unbelievable. But today he went to bed right when he came out here, but he got up at 4.15 this morning and, and didn't take a nap. So I don't know. He's definitely, definitely has a gift. I tell him all the time, like, you have no idea what it, or sometimes he, he will go to lay down, very rarely, he'll go to lay down, and he's like, I can't sleep. I was like, welcome to my work. Well, it sucks, huh? Like, I can't sleep. It doesn't happen hardly ever. Your husband's the same. Oh, they have a gift. I hope, I hope your husband realizes it. I hope your husband realizes it. Yo, this paint is not covering. Well, it's... This wise owl gets me every time because I always say it doesn't cover well, but then that second coat, everything comes together. All those years of working nights can miss. Oh, absolutely. I've been working nights literally my entire life. My, my well, working life. Um, at 16, I had a day job, but I was still in uh, school, high school. Um, but yeah, between the bar even nursing, I worked 11 to 7 shift. That was That's the worst shift on the planet. No, that is a horror shift. Um, yeah, and then my whole IT career. I mean, almost a year I worked days. That was horrible. But yeah, my body just it doesn't know what the heck to do. But 
trying to tell myself, just let it go, but the other side of my head's like, you're missing so much life. <laughs> you could get so much more done. I don't think my voice talks like that, but if it were to talk, I think it would sound like that. You know, like just something stupid going to the thrift store, right? You want to go to the thrift store, it's a half hour away, even it's 45 minutes. Well, if you get up at 1.30, you got to have your coffee so you can function. I'm finally retired. My sleep pattern is horrible. I've tried working out to fix my sleep. It's not working for you either, Cindy. I, I, I feel for you because I'm there. You know, half hour, at least a half an hour to wake up, right? Because I'm not the type of person that can just jump out of bed and, like, drive the car. Like, that. that's not a good idea. Um, you know, then you get dressed. So now it's 2.30. You get there, well, they close at four, you know, so you got 45 minutes to frantically look. And I'm pushing time here now. Like, I didn't even put shower in. We didn't even shower. We're just going. We're just going. We didn't eat. We didn't do any of those things. We're just going. So, just dumb stuff like that. I don't know. I just gotta allow myself grace and let, let it, let my body try to work out what it's gonna work out. I mean, the important part is to feel good. Like, I don't want to get up early and my mind feel... Like, oh, you got up really go, girl, but my body's like, you jerk. <laughs> I need a little lay back down. So, can't win. <laughs> can't win. All right, so this top piece is saturated with paint. Put a little heat on it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around the edges, um, inside and out, and give this a little more time to dry while we do that. Um, because I, I'm pretty, the sides are not all that are dry. It's just, I really saturated with my bougie brush. <laughs> I saturated them. So that's what I get. I do see a white spot there. I do see a white spot. All right. Me and this bougie brush. All right, let's do this. Let me do it so I can really get in there. And so we don't have to go back a second coat. Let's get this coat on there right the first time. I can't see at this angle. I mean, I can see, but I can't see. I can see that I'm pushing paint back and forth. <laughs> I can't see if I'm missing anything. Yeah, I didn't let that uh, ivory dry enough. I got lots of white streaks. All right, I'm going to the right and turn. I do love this color. I don't know where it's been my whole life. But not with me. Metro City One Hour Enamel by Wise Owl. This is supposed to be the number one. Supposed to be. I don't know because I didn't do my cats. But it's supposed to be the number one. I should have done the inside while I did this. Uh, ca kitchen cabinet paint. Um, because of because of the top coat in it and its durability. Um, so they say. So they say, I can tell you, I use their wall paint. It's called ceramic. Why would they call wall, wall paint ceramic? That doesn't make any sense to me. Well, whatever. Y'all, it's expensive. It's expensive. And I was like, well, if you're gonna sell it, you need to try it, right? And I had to paint my bedroom. I had so many friends, but, uh, oh, I missed it. Dang it. Something's taking up your time. Um, and I put the first coat, and I've done a lot. I've painted a lot of rooms in my life. And I put that first coat on, I was like, oh, this stuff sucks. Like, this is not good. Like, this is going to take four or five coats. Like, it was that thin. And I was like, oh, no. So, I had to finish, you know, how to finish. But the weirdest thing is when I put that second coat on, it, it was like three or four coats. It was the weirdest thing. And that paint is really, really nice. Like, it's just white. But I never painted a white room either. That was my first. Um... So, yeah, but I'll tell you what I was like at first. I was like, oh man, you bit off more than you can chew here, girl. This is some terrible paint. Can't promote that. It's junk. Can't do that. Won't do that. I will not do that. I will not. I will not. I will not. So, yeah, so I would use it again. It is expensive, like I said, kind of like ridiculous. Um, but then again, just a, a gallon of bears, I think, I want to say it pays like six, 65, that can't be right. I just bought, for the other house, I had to do some paint. It was expensive. I want to say 65, but I don't think that's right. I remember when it used to be like 35. Maybe it was, I don't know. 
it wasn't any like special bear paint. It wasn't like the marquee or whatever that fancy stuff is, but it was expensive. And I hardly used any of it, so I'm gonna use that here. I'm gonna use that here too. It, again, stuck my elbow in it again. Um, I could use some touch-ups here and there. Touch-ups here and there. But it's on the list. Oh, it's on the list. I got all this stuff outside on my benches. So my dad built these beautiful benches um, long, long time ago. I ended up with them. And they're in front, one on, under each window. And then I have the stuff I want to hang up on my building there. But I have the that big wooden... Um, I think I sealed it on live. It's carved wood faces. I um, I think I sealed it. And then the the three wind blowing guys or whatever they're called. Um, a couple other things. So I just got to get around to doing that. Uh, some paint. paint. Uh, it takes paint out of your clothes. Oh yeah, I'll, I heard that. I don't usually get paint on myself, believe it or not. I'm not that person, but I say that. I say that by the end of this live, I'm gonna be wearing it. Um, but yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna hit it with a dryer one more time and then we're just gonna go over this top part one more time and hopefully that's all we need to do. And then we can get to uh, making this look old as well. Now I'm thinking, I don't like the shine in it at all. Like, at all. At all, at all. I'm not even going to worry about drying the sides right now. Because I want to get this top going. This top going. Should have spent a little more time driving the ivory, because I think that's our whole problem. That's what happened with that paint inlay. I don't know if I told you, if you guys, when you watched it, I couldn't figure out why that paint was popping up, that seeping out the top. But it was the second layer of paint that I put on there and I didn't dry it. Um, and that's what was squishing out in between the layers. That was the weirdest thing. I've never had that happen before. I couldn't for the life of me think, where the heck is this paint coming from? It was the weirdest thing. But that's what it was. I need to plug in two heat tools. I can do double the work. <laughs> double the work. Double the work. Mm -hmm. Can't even see the green now, but you will see it when we add our wax or whatever we do. Waxy wax. Like a robot. I need to get a robot to do this. Mm. Cindy, are you up all night? What's your deal? What's your deal? Or you can't sleep at all? Or I could just imagine if I could if I could get up at like my husband, if I could if I could work his if I could do his hours Man, you know how much stuff I could get done? I think I get a lot done now. I mean, I'd be like doubling down. It'd be awesome. It'd be awesome. I like getting stuff done. That makes me happy. I don't know. I can't, I can't, I can't lay a, I'm not the type that I can lay. I could not wake up, do whatever, go turn on the TV, watch a movie. That's it, I'm done. Like, I would be done. Like, I couldn't get up and get motivated again. And if I was, like, watching TV all day, pretty much, I wonder, you water the house. Oh, no, Cindy. Um, I'd feel bad. Like, I would, I, it makes me feel good to do stuff. I don't know if that makes any sense at all. Like, I don't know how to relax. I don't know. Unless I'm sick and I don't feel good, then that's different, but. I can't just say, oh, I'm going to lay on the couch all day and watch TV. I cannot do that. Or I don't enjoy that. Maybe that's probably more what it is. I don't enjoy that. Nothing wrong with it. It's just something I don't enjoy. That's what it is. I don't enjoy it. My husband's still working, so I can Oh, no. You can't create or... You're probably sick of watching the boob tube. You can only watch so many videos. <laughs> uh, Dang. Are you, are you drinking any type of caffeine? I know that was part of my problem. Um, caffeine definitely affects me, no doubt about it. Look how much coffee I had in my veins yesterday. <laughs> that, 
coffee dyeing I did. Holy crap, that was fun. That was fun. All right, this, I think we're, we're, these are drying pretty good now, I think. Yeah, yeah, we're, I promise we're almost there. Yo, paint, can't rush the paint. But I do think we're in good shape now. Um, you don't have a she shed? The, honestly, the best thing, I mean, I love the shed, but honestly, the best thing so far that I've realized with having this um, space is I can separate myself. Like at the other house, it was everywhere. Like I literally, I got something in my eye. I literally took over the entire house, well, except for the bathroom and the bedrooms, but I literally took over the entire house and I couldn't get away from it. Like it, it was just there. It's in the house. Like here, at least I can leave it shut the door and be done with it. Like, so that, that's been really nice. And I, I've never been able to do that before. So I'm gonna try not to, you know, saturate these molds or, I gotta get the second coat on there, but I'm gonna try not to saturate everything like I did the first round so it dries quicker. Because I'm okay with the way the molds look right now that we went back and touched them up. Just trying to get the wood mainly. Mainly the wood. Um, so I would imagine your craft room must be close to where your husband sleeps, so therefore you can't do that. That's a bummer because that would that that would be the answer. And it would make you happy. And who cares? You're crafting. Stay up all night and craft away. <laughs> Woo! You're like, yes. Yeah, you see that second coat just bring, like, it's amazing. Can you see how light that is? And that second coat just, it just does it. And it gets me every single time. I'm like, this is not going to work. Uh, we're going to be moving to a lot of for retirement. Oh, good, good, good. Well, so for now, you can start getting a little notebook or a journal or so, however you document your stuff you want to do and you can start planning out your how you want your shed and where you're gonna put it where you're gonna put in it and how's it gonna look and all those good that's a joke moving is no joke however moving into an empty home it's bigger than your current home that's not so bad i mean yeah that's work but trying to move out of a bigger house into a smaller house that's already got everything you need in it. That is a challenge, my friends. That is a challenge. Holy smokes, that's a challenge. Whew. We're getting there, though. Slow and steady. Slow. Slow and steady. I'm excited to do the living room. Like, but that's going to require me going through a bunch of boxes. But I want to put different stuff up here behind me anyway, so I'll pull some stuff when I do that. I don't know. The list just doesn't end. It just, it just doesn't. It just doesn't. Okay. I think we're copacetic. Finally. It seemed like it took forever to get there. It did. <laughs> it took over an hour. Good Lord. I don't think I was fart farting around. I was moving. I was working. I was working, people. I don't think YouTube likes li long lives. I'm excited and hoping to get the same size house that we will see. Yeah. In in all honesty, um I really, really like uh thank you, Sandy. I really like the small the small like it's laid out right. So there's a difference. So when we went to Colorado, um probably reminds you of Bettina. Try to talk my husband in the building, she should don't think he's Smack him, he'll listen. <laughs> he'll listen. Bribe him. Do whatever you gotta do, Jody. Um, when we had to live, we went to Colorado for that little bit of time. That place was really, apartments were really small, really expensive. But it had high ceilings and it was just laid out nice. And it never felt small. Like, this place, well, it doesn't have, our mobile home doesn't have high ceilings. But it's just laid out right. And it's, I really like it because, number one, I, I'm at a stage where I don't need all the stuff want and need, you know, two different things, and um, it's organized, so you know where everything is, and it's so much less to maintain, so much, I mean, 
literally to, to mop, to vacuum and mop the floors is, it doesn't take any time at all, you know, and the sink is kind of, it's much, it's twice as small than our, we had a really deep sink, which I loved. Um, so this one, you get a couple dishes in there and it looks like the sink's full, you know what I mean? <laughs> so you do the dishes, like, it's just less, less work, more time for fun. So I'm really, I'm really, I'm glad, I'm glad we're at, we're, we're where we're at. I mean, would it be great to have a huge open floor? Yeah, maybe, but who's going to clean that? Kitten. Yes, so, so yeah, do it, do it right. Uh, and honestly, I, I originally wanted a 16 by 40 shed, but I had no idea there was so much involved in a shed. Like, I had no clue. Like, one thing, for instance, um, anything bigger than 12 foot wide, you have to hire, um, it, this is for pre pre-built where they bring it to your property anything that's larger than 12 feet um wide you have to hire the um the caravan or whatever you have to hire extra people that with a wide load so that's another 1500 bucks or whatever it depends how far they're traveling so that right there made a difference um uh just the pricing to jump because this one's um 12 by 36 12 by 36 to jump from 14 by 20 or whatever, it's like another 7,000. It's like, that doesn't make sense to me. Um, that's not, I don't need, that's not $7,000 worth of space for me. You know what I mean? So it depends too. Like you can get the metal ones, you can get those cheaper, but you got to know how to put your walls up in insulation by using metal, you know, or if you're going to put built in shelves, Remember, you know, you're going to have to stud it out or do whatever you're going to have to do. So there's just a lot of factors. You know, sometimes like just, I'm going to go get a shed. Like, it didn't, it didn't work like that at all. So this looks like it's wet still, but it might be just shiny. It's sticky. Let me let it cool. Let me make sure we're dry because if we're not, then this wax and junk is not going to do us any good. I think we're good. It's sticky. Can you hear it? I think that's the one hour enamel. I definitely do not like the shine on this. But okay. All right. I think we're I think we're good. Oh, I better leave this because I gotta do the sides. Alright. Okay. So now um I don't know if this is gonna wipe off. I'm gonna do a little spot with this. I don't know if it's gonna wipe off when I put the wax on or what it's gonna do. So I'm just gonna, oh, I'm just gonna test a little spot and just see. Can't even see it. Did I put ink on? <laughs> So I'll have to use black. Okay. All right. I'll come in with that last. If it resists it, it resists it. It's fine. Okay. So do we want to do, I think I'm going to start out with, oh, this is going to be pretty. Um, I think I'm going to do a combination of black wax or dark wax and white wax, but I'm going to do dark wax first. Um, and it has... It has the one hour enamel on here, so I don't need to. I don't want to have the enamel on. Oh, Jesus, what? Um, normally, I would put clear wax on first because it allows you to wipe it back. Um, but because it has a top coat on here, shouldn't be a problem. So let's let's just see. Let's just see. Um, you can't see what I'm doing. I'm just putting this on a paper towel beside me and just taking off some of the excess. Just that's all I'm doing taking off some of the excess. I'm going to do a little, I'm going to do this over here. Let's see. I just want to see how it wipes off. Because I want the wax to sit in all the low spots just to give it more depth and dimension and for, um, for all the details. To, yeah, see that comes off no problem. Okay. Now, if this was just straight up chalk paint, it would just suck it right up. So this is going to darken this paint up, but then the white should kind of balance all that out. 
it should. I do have a bigger brush, but I, I'm just going to go with this one since I have it out. And I'm going to work on getting this in the crevices. Now you can use any type of wax you have. If you have clear wax, you don't have dark wax, you can mix mica powders in there um, you know, and change the color. If you have white wax, you can do the same. It would take a little more effort with white to get dark, but you could do it. Um, so just be mindful of that. I'm not going to do the sides while you guys are on because you get the, dri the drift of what I was thinking. <laughs> um, I won't make you watch that. We've been on a long time and I appreciate you being here. I mean, it's a process. What I mean, it's a process. I'll hold this up for you and show you what this is looking like and the difference that it makes. Also, what the dark wax does is it every little imperfection in here it's dropping into there so it's really making it look old so here look at this nice shiny corner there i mean you can you can see the you know where i put the paint blob and whatever but see what the dark wax does it really gives it that look of just brings out all the details brings out all the imperfections and uh bada boom bada boom <laughs> bam it's the aging aging technique or one of them, one of the many. Well, I just got so much on my brush, holy crap. All right, so I'm just gonna keep going. And when I do this, I'm kind of like trying to tuck. I like that wax to sit on the bottom of my uh, molds. Life started over, if it, you know what? Better late than never. At 50, shoot, we're already half dead. You only got one chance at this life stuff. So if you don't do what makes you happy, I mean, I know finances and work, all that stuff comes into play, but I do feel like you do have some control over, first of all, mind over matter. Not all cases, but um, yeah, is there... take it over, take over his tool shed. <laughs> Your time's up here, buddy. Your lease has expired, mister. <laughs> Time for you to go. Um, you got to do what makes you happy. And only you know what that is. So make it happen. Make it happen. Um, other thing, too, is if um, by wiping it wasn't taken enough off, if you use something damp, it will um, it'll take more off. And, <laughs> and if it's like out of control and you can't get it off and you hate it, use some clear wax and that will help work as an eraser. I mean, it won't take it all off, but it will help a lot. It will help a lot. Clear wax works as an eraser. So remember that. Life is short. Very, 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 very short. I'm not going to do the inside with you guys either because it's just going to, it's going to take some time to do the outside and the inside. If I do the top, I feel like you totally get this skinny of what we're doing here. And I can easily go back and uh, do the insides or all the sides, whatever. I know I started doing that one, but this is going to be too timely. Too timely. Too timely. I mean, it's got to be done because otherwise it's going to look weird. Okay. All right. I'll do that in sections. I'm going to finish this little guy here since we're over here. Over here, over here. Um, yeah. I think I need to get some more dark wax. This stuff lasts forever. It really goes a long way. Unless you're doing a piece of furniture, it just, little smalls like this, it'll last forever. I can't wait to publish. I gotta edit it still. But um, the other dresser I did, y'all, I'm so proud of it. it. It came out so cool. Like, really cool. Like, I didn't even know I could do that cool. Oh, <laughs> like... But that, like I said, that dresser, if the, the, the one you haven't seen yet, that one, I would love to take the time. I told my mom, oh, what is it? Sorry, my phone's plugged in. Oh, no. Oh, no, Jody. Plug it in, girl. Plug it in. I'm trying to hurry. Um, it just came out so nice. But that one, I would love to really, 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 really redo one day. But I'm not a furniture maker. All right, so see the bottom? The bottom that's right that's not done but that and all that is done so there's definitely a big difference this is not done 
I mean, you can see the details in that from here where you can't really there. So that's the start of it. Oh, that's the start of it. I know. Not too exciting. Well, thank you guys. I appreciate you guys being here too. Uh, where do we leave off? What happened? Oh, what am I doing? Which way do we go? I was going that way. There we go. We spun it all the way around. Yeah, we're just spinning it. Um, now your wax, uh, let it dry before you do, like, say, say you wax this whole thing and you're like, oh my God, I hate it. 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 Um, like if you said it like that same day, try to wipe off what wax you can. If you think you're going to redo it, if it's too late and your wax is art, well, if it's been a day or two, your wax is starting to set up, your wax is going to harden. It takes a full 30 days for your wax to cure, but it'll be dry to touch by the next day. Um, you just wait for your wax. Wax is a resist. So if you try to paint it right away, it's not going to, it's going to be a disaster for you. So just wait as long as you possibly can. Um, and then you can repaint it. Um, because you can't even really put a top sealer on it or anything like that because it's just going to resist it because it is a wax. Um, but like I said, once your wax is set up for a bit, it's no problem to re to paint over it. But you just got to be patient and uh, take that time for it to uh, to cure. Or it's just going to be a mess. <laughs> a mess. But I have, I think it was that one. That one I did. Um I painted over it. I wiped off what I could because that night, I think I did it that night or the next night because I was like, I don't, I don't like it. It ain't right. It's not right. It does not look right. Something is, and I didn't even know if the green would look right. And it did. So we left it. <laughs> we left it. Okay. That's such a difference. Like such a, look at that angle. That angle right there screams. Wow. Like you barely see these probably because it's closer to you. It looks a little more dramatic, but it's definitely, definitely uh, enhances the details. All right, where are we at? Over here. Okay, so we only got that. All right, more than, ha we're halfway done. More than halfway. And we're going to have to, we're going to have to use the black ink. Um, if it doesn't pick up because of the wax, then I will wait till tomorrow or the next day and I'll try it again um, and see if the ink will take. It should, but it may not. It may not. I don't think I've ever stamped over uh, wax that I can think of. Usually wax is the last thing you put on. Um, usually. I don't know. I don't know. I do know. I need to get some more frames because I feel like since I've been to that, I bought, picked up all these frames, I've been inspired and things are just flowing. Just wow. <laughs> in my happy place. Happy, happy, happy. I still got that really um, oval rectangle-ish with the handsome fellow in it. We got to do something good with that one. That one I, I, I don't really know what I want to do with, but it's got to be something special because that fellow's handsome. Glaze and wax the same thing. I, tried. Uh, I saw is glaze and wax the same things? No, they are not. Um, they have the same effect, but they are not. Um, glaze is kind of, uh, glaze can be used as a stain or can be used like this. Like the, I use the Moose Moose um, antiquing glaze. Um, look, I got a white spot there. I'll have to go back and I don't know what that's about. Um, I, I feel like you have more open time and more leeway. We could have used it, actually. We could have used it. We should have used the antiquing wax on this, actually, but we didn't. Um, you have more open time and it has more movement. Um, hey, Tanya, how are you? How are, hey, Tanya. Hi, Tanya. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, but no. Because you can um, you can use glazes as stains where you can't stain with wax. Um, has more open time, has more movement, um, and its dry time is much less. Um, oh, I didn't wipe all this back. I was like, why is this so dark? 
Um, so no, it is not. But if, you, if you're stuck, um, I didn't get to read your whole message. Um, I got to figure out how can I tell you guys to message me? You can't message. Um, there's no private messaging on YouTube. If you're on Facebook, private message me. Um, I don't know what else to say. Like, I don't know. I got to I got to think about that one. But you're welcome to message me. Email me, whatever, if you're stuck. I don't, not, not that I'll have the answer, but I'll certainly try to help. I'll certainly try to help. Uh-oh. <sighs> Gotta fix that white spot. Did I get it all? I think I got it, y'all. I did, I did. Oh, I didn't like this back. Our glaze and wax the same. I'm trying to match a cabinet, but I didn't have a glaze match, but I found a glaze. Mm, switching the top of the color. I see you. Okay. Um, your cabinet is totally glazed. Usually you put a glaze, usually you put a glaze over something. Um, like this, like we're waxing here. I guess I'm not fully, maybe you'll have to send me pictures. I'm not fully understanding what you mean. Um, okay. So I'll do the edges and the insides, um, off camera, but that's what we have so far. I am going to hit it with I'm going to try the stamp and then I'm going to try a little white wax, just a little to soften it up. I don't know if we're going to be able to see this crack hell, crack hell, crack a crack, crack. Oh, things just come out of my mouth and I'm like, really, really trace like why? why? So I just bap bapped right there. Let's see. Okay, not re-inking it, hitting it again, and again, 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 it's subtle, but hey, you see it right there and right there, subtle, but enough to, um, it's over here. enough to, uh, make it look aged. Make it look aged. Is this black? I don't know what corner I did, so I'm just going to pick any corner. Any corner. There's not a lot of flat spots on here. So, and there's not a lot of, um, see how that, all that texture, like I don't even need to touch that with this. So we're just going to haphazardly bap bap it. And I'm out of ink. So I gotta do the edges, it looks like. So I gotta stay around the, the edges. Well, that's hard to do with this big old ink pad. Maybe I'll go all the way down. Hard to do with a big old ink pad. I need a little tiny, little tiny one. I was thinking about getting those um red, uh, red, good grief. The stamps I carry. I still carry them, but I haven't been restocking them for a long, long time now. They're good. Uh, red something. Red stamp? They have some good... I was thinking about going on their site and see what they got. Remember the Vintage Santa one? They had, like, one of these small... Uh, no, not Tim Holtz. Um, not Tim Holtz. Yeah, they're rubber stamps. They're not acrylic, but... Um, I am, Mary. So far, I'm happy with it. I think it's still... It's too shiny, so... After all this wax and stuff dries, you know darn well it's getting an ultra matte job. <laughs> um, red stamp. I think they're called red stamp. They're excellent quality. They're the kind you got to cut, like the old school. It has a white, um, comes with a white backing. That's what you use for, like, I'm using here. Um, bonnet. Yeah, I think they're called red stamps. Um Anyways, they have little crackle and little littler ones that are easier to manage. I mean, I could cut this one, but I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Uh, you have red rubber? Yes. They're good. They're, the, the vintage Santa is outstanding. Like, he is really good. Actually, all of them are good. They have vintage trucks and um, birds, and I think I already did that. Yeah, it looks like I already did all kinds of stuff. But their, their quality is excellent. All right, we're going to go over the stamps, too. I mean, the molds. Let's go on the molds. Why not? Stamp everybody, everything. Probably out of ink. 
don't even know it. Just stamping away. I don't know, we still got some juice left. Okay. I'll have to go in and do that again to the inside and outside, but I won't make you watch that. So let's, let's just put a little white wax on and see if that's a yay or a nay. And then we'll put our bird in here. We'll put our bird in here. Probably melting the wax I just put on. I'm just trying to dry this stamp a little bit. It's kind of really counterproductive. That's clear. That is not white. Here's, I had to put my white wax in here because this dropped on my concrete floor and got a little um, hole in it. Ding dong over here puts duct tape on it. That didn't work because it's, it's got uh, oil in it. It's got, um, what do you call it? Uh, my God, my brain is just totally blank. Beeswax. Oh, beeswax. So it's like fluff and utter, doesn't it? Or fluff, not fluff and utter. Fluff. All right, little white wax. I'm going to knock some off because I got way too much. Oh, I didn't even put it in my, br my brush is still stiff. <laughs> Oopsie. All right, let's see what this, this is either going to be a yay or a <laughs> Um. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know if I want to go in, in with it or on it. Let's see. Hold on. Let me just, let me just play here for a sec. See if it even makes a difference. It should lighten it up a little, but it may not be worth its effort. Hold on. Let me see. I don't know. I don't think it's, I don't know. These two are lightly white wax. That is not. I, I don't know what's worth the effort. It's kind of defeating the, well, now it needs dark wax. Yeah, I think we'll just stick with the dark wax. Dark wax, dark wax. But, like I said, I do not like the shine of this at all. Um, so I think just by changing that alone um, is going to make a big difference. And I will do that with the Pentart. Um, it does give it highlights, but I don't know if it's worth... I, I don't... <laughs> You're, well, I don't know I'm doing it. I, I just don't... All right, I'll just do it a little bit, like, across everything. I don't know if it's worth my efforts. Um... When this dries, I will hit it with the pen tart and that will knock that shine right off because that I don't like. Okay, a little bit of highlights isn't bad. Just, I mean, you never even know I did this. But, oh, she hit that with white highlights. I see it. <laughs> you didn't see nothing. You didn't see nothing. There. Only we know what just happened there. You could go in with gold. I mean, you can go crazy with layering here um, if you wanted to. Um, I still feel like this needs to look older. I really do. I just don't know what that is. I just don't know what that is yet. But I feel like it needs it needs more. It needs more beaten up. It needs more beaten up. It almost needs like to be super chippy in a sense, like or chippier. I mean, it's okay. It's okay. But I still feel like it's missing something. Like I want it, in my mind, it was older looking. Like really old. <laughs> like I'm wondering, should I... Should I go in with some darker colors, like grays and stuff? I don't know, but I'm not going to keep you guys any longer. But I'm going to show you. If, if it stays like this, um, this is what it's going to look like. If it stays like this, this is what it's going to look like. Um, and if it doesn't stay like this, I will 100%, as always, share with you my changes. Yeah. You know, sometimes you just, I think it happens. To, I feel like it happens to me more. I'm, I'm going to end up gluing it to this. Um, it's just, sometimes it's just not right. I feel like it happens. I'm going to have to, uh. Coffee grounds. 
I had my fill of that yesterday. Um, what am I doing? I just, yeah, I just feel like sometimes it's just not right. And um, sometimes I'll let it sit there for a couple days until, like I said, I always leave it in a place where I walk by often. I, I don't know what I'm doing right here. Is this going to work? No. <laughs> fell through. Look. Fell through. Um, until, I don't know, sometimes you're like, oh, that's what it needs. Or then you decide, no, it doesn't need any, nothing at all. All right, so I have to glue this to this, obviously. <laughs> it's falling through because it's the exact size. Let me try to turn this way. It's wanting to, hold up, I'm taping this stinking thing. It's not going to beat me. I like the highlights, but, oh, dang it. Maybe need to be different color highlights. Maybe not, white's not the answer. I'm just going to put a itty bitty tape on here. I hope I didn't cut this too short. Ah, that'd be something, huh? I don't think we tested it to see if it fits in here. Well, that'd be a real pisser, wouldn't it? Oh, man. Oh, man. Mm, this is too short. I'd cry. Now I wouldn't cry. I'd just figure out something else. Oh, for crying out loud. <laughs> uh. Is there YouTube bloopers on here? What the heck? <laughs> it's the rooster curse. <laughs> it's the rooster curse coming to get me. Okay, we're just... Put some more tape on there, Trace, you dipshit. It doesn't want to stick. The wax <laughs> on here is resisting it. Now I can't get the freaking thing in. Uh, hello? <laughs> I'm afraid to look. Yay! Oh, I've just put, I gotta take it out because I gotta finish the insides and stuff. I was just trying to Get it to, good lord. <laughs> yeah, I don't like the shiny. I love the color. I love the molds. I love the in. I mean, it's actually pretty like this. It's, I think it's the shine that's throwing me off. I, I think that's what it is. I don't like shine. I like ultra matte. <laughs> um, I think that's what it is. It looks like plastic to me. Like, I don't know. Like, look at those lumps there. Oh, that's pretty. I mean, it's, it has a lot of texture. There's no doubt there's a lot of texture going on here. So. I think that's what it needs. It just needs to be knocked down. I do have the glass for this as well. Um, it's down yonder, all clear, all clean. Um, yeah, that's what it is. It's the shine. I love the color. I love this stone gray with the ivory and the way we aged up the, the rooster itself. Um, yeah, I think that looks really, really nice. <coughs> Thank you guys for hanging in there with me to uh, create this masterpiece. <laughs> I appreciate it so much. And um, I look forward to our next piece for sure, for sure. You guys have an amazing rest of your night. Stay safe and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. Oh, and also in the description, I do have my telegram. Um, if you want to sign up, it's free. Um, I think if you touch my nose, I don't know what happens here in YouTube world, but it's in the description and I'll, I'll send a text out when I... Um, I go live, whether it's here, there, or everywhere. <laughs> Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful night, and I forget how to, oh, there we go.